Howdy folks, uh, yesterday I posted a video on super colliders and uh, they green screened a portion of it and it was an important part and that's the second time they've done that to one of my videos uh, so I'm gonna try it again <laughs> uh, anyways uh, this portion was on the Stanford linear collider in California and it's known as the slack and also known as the straightest thing on earth and so what I was pointing out is that uh, it's right built right up against the San Andreas Fault. So as you can see, uh, if you look uh, bottom of the bay here and Highway 280, which crosses right under it and over it. Uh, so there's the bottom of the bay. There's Highway 280. It's built right here, right up against the San Andreas Fault and so uh, that brought up a couple of questions to me uh, the first one being if you were building the straightest thing on earth and you wanted it to stay the straightest thing on earth would you build it up against the San Andreas Fault? I would not do that that's what I said and uh, the next question is if you know the Big Bang is a bunch of hogwash uh, what are they actually doing with these super colliders? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm looking into it. So we'll see if they green screen this one out. Thanks. Okay, and here we are at my video manager page. And I just want to point out uh, the censorship on YouTube. Whether you can see it on your side of the videos or not, uh, I have seen it on my side and I'm going to point some of that out um, on this video I just posted last night uh, they green screened a portion of it and that's the second time they've done that to one of my videos uh, there's no reason they should have done that um, it's the same same kind of screencast as all the other portions of the video uh, and over here you see zero comments there's eight comments right now so what's going on can you guys see the comments? I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> uh, so who knows what they do. Um, I'm just giving you my viewpoint. Uh, on this video right here, they really uh, censored this one, which totally surprised me because I thought the one I posted right before it would get more attention. And they both got attention. They both uh, they took over four hours to upload. I don't know why. They made, them, uh, they made the Mark uh, video look bad and they green screened a portion of that video too um, and that was an important part and the funny thing is is I've been using uh, footnotes instead of the regular text that most people use so the footnote still shows up on the green screen and I think that kinda pisses them off because it doesn't block everything that I'm putting out there but uh, anyways this video down here hundred thousand views now um, and I've seen tons of stuff on this video <laughs> but daily shill work as you can tell by the numbers um, the weird thing is just it's changed lately um, you know for a long time there the average is pretty much three thumbs up to one thumb down and I know it's just a small percentage of people uh, that even hit those buttons I think one one to five or something like that percent and numbers don't mean squat uh, but they do tell you something and take a look at them look at the difference between all my other videos uh, if you can't see just by that fact alone uh, that these flights are fake and that they're fighting their hardest to keep that a secret um, well I can definitely see it but that's probably because I've had to deal with this video for four months and it hasn't been a picnic <coughs> But lately what I've seen with those numbers is uh, a totally flip around. It is now three thumbs down to about one thumb up. And I know people are pretty passive and stuff or whatever. But uh, is that just a coincidence or are they really ramping that up? Um, or is it just hitting that wall of uh, cognitive dissonance? Uh, Joe six pack and Betty won't believe it, <laughs> or whatever last name you want to put in there. Uh, yeah, 
Um, I can already tell you, you know, just by talking to my friends, uh, because, you know, of course I'm not out there with a bullhorn telling people the earth is flat yet. <laughs> but, uh, when my friends ask me what I've been up to, um, I just tell them. And I get that deer in the headlights look, of course, no matter, no matter who it is. Um, and <laughs> I know some of them have just gone, oh, he's lost it for sure now. Holy cow. But I told them I'll just, hey, check out my videos and go from there. I'm not trying to, you know, sway you. You got to kind of do that yourself. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in.